Rated Rookie here. Hope you guys are doing well. The Last Dance documentary is premiering this Sunday and I'm fired up for it. Uh, haven't had sports in over a month, so uh, we're all really excited about this, I'm sure. In honor of that, I want to do a rummage through my MJ collection. A lot of uh, PSA slabs and then some raw cards as well. Starting off with this 1985 Nike MJ promo uh, and a PSA 9. Super happy to pick this up for 170 a little while ago. It's come up since then. Uh, what's interesting about this, you got MJ dunking, classic pose of course, Chicago skyline in the back, and this was produced as a promo for the uh, Air Jordan shoes. I don't have uh, my uh, FLIR Rookie with me, but I do have the sticker. If you're interested in seeing the FLIR Rookie, take a look at my top 100 card video. Here's the sticker in a PSA 8. Beautiful card. And then a card that's definitely coming up, like a lot of these Jordan cards, is this 87 FLIR, his second year in a PSA 8. That same year, they also had a sticker. So two nice near mint examples there. Moving to 88, was really happy to get a 10 on this. Had this set raw and um, just incredible get two 10s back. So the uh, base on the left, the all-star on the right, the all-star, one of my favorite base cards of all time. That's him dunking during the uh, All-Star game and just a classic, classic pose. Wrapping up the 80s cards with uh, this sticker. Was hoping for more. I think the uh, top to bottom centering got me on that one. PSA 5 on a couple of them. Now moving to the 90s. Excuse me, pretty uh, windy day here in California. 90 Kenner, another five. Took a look at this, really don't see what's wrong with it, but uh, cool card nonetheless. This is the first year of that Topps did gold. Um, had this as a kid as well, it came back at 10. And then moving to Finest. So the first year of Finest, was obviously huge for the hobby. Here's the raw, and then one of my favorite cards in the collection, the refractor on the right. So look at that shine. Amazing that this was the uh, first basketball refractor ever made uh, because he's card number one in the set. Just beautiful shine. Let's slide that one in. Love that card. Beam teams, for anyone around in the 90s, you'll remember these. Would love to uh, pick up the previous year beam team at some point, but some of these cards have just run away from me. Emotion, these were beautiful cards. On uh, Instagram, there was a um, thread around three of your favorite MJ cards, and this was one, definitely one of my favorite inserts. Just beautiful holofoil you see there thick cardstock, and you'll notice that Jordan's wearing 45 here. Speaking of wearing 45, one of my favorite cards of all time. Uh, here's the base in a nine. And then I rarely buy more than one card, but since I just love this card so much, I've picked up a few over the years. So there's the eight, no coating. Couple nines with the coating and then a 10 as well. So just stunning card, um, an all time favorite of mine, him wearing the 45, nice shine. I did a uh, Instagram poll comparing actually these two cards and um, the 93 and a nine or the 94 and a 10 and across over a hundred votes, it was actually split 50, 50. So. Interesting to see that people value these cards and like these cards about the same. Another one of my favorites, this is a 
a little bit of an oddball because it's baseball, um, but it's the Red Hall of You with the die cut. Just a beautiful card. On uh, October 6, 93, Jordan announced his first retirement and he started playing minor league baseball. And the odds of pulling these red um, hall of views were, were really tough. I'm trying to catch the hall of view a little bit. It was one in 75 packs and it was a 38 card set with some huge players in it. I mean, the set is one of the best insert sets of all time. It had A-Rod, Griffey, Bo Jackson, Cal Ripken, a number of other players, and MJ. 1995 Finest next. Would have uh, liked to pick up a refractor on this. Might have missed the boat. We'll see. Prices are just staggering right now, but happy with what I have. Some more from Finest. Um, the Mystery, and then the Borderless Mystery. I'm trying to remember, I think these came with like a black peel over them, if memory serves. It's been, uh, what, 25 years since I opened that. And then metal. I mean, his base metal has gone crazy. Here's a nice insert from 95 metal, slick silver. And maximum metal also from that set. Then wrapping up 95, one of my favorite inserts, Natural Born Thrillers, just such a great design. I mean, look at that. There's a bit of a little push in there, bottom left, so it came back a seven. Wasn't expecting too much from it, but just happy to own the card. Just love some of these 90s designs. All right, now moving to probably one of my favorite years to collect, 96, uh, Kobe's rookie year, Ray Allen, Iverson, Steve Nash, etc. So here's the Bowman's Best in a 10. And then also from Bowman's Best, the Refractor in a 10, and the Atomic in a 9. Look at that shine. So I actually did an Instagram poll on these two. And uh, I was really surprised. I thought people would much prefer the Atomic, um, but actually it was almost split 50-50 again. So people like the, the gems, I guess. Beautiful cards. Another card I pulled from Bowman's Best. It's best shot, kind of acetate. Probably my favorite base card of all time is uh, EX 2000. Love the Kobe. This Jordan's just amazing design. Um, the credentials are just awesome as well. Now a few uh, SPX holograms. I wish they'd bring back some holograms. Here's 96. The Hall of You Heroes, got a four on that, and then a uh, nine on that, 49er. Looks like the front hologram image is the same on these two cards. It's MJ smiling. Another card that's kind of gone crazy is the first year of Topps Crown. I uh, actually had a couple of these from, a kid, from being a kid, and both of them came back nines. More refractor shine. This one's numbered 97. These are out of uh, 1090, as you can see there. And a bit of shine on the back too, which is nice. Great design out of flare. There's the row three. I think those are the most common. Metal universe, just base, but one of the most beautiful base cards ever. I'll hold it up with uh, that EX2000 I showed up earlier. These are, of course, notorious for the um, PMGs. And more metal. This one I got off uh, Comp C for five bucks. And uh, happy I did. A 
All right, wrapping up the PSA stack with a few more. 97. Great photography on that. Love these gold uh, medallions. I'm trying to do that justice. Beautiful card. Not easy to grade. A lot of chipping. Uh, you usually get some chipping up here. Um, but happy with that. Just an upper deck. And then a couple of these from the Ovation. This is the standard base. And then the gold, uh, which is serial numbered to a thousand. Then wrapping up with one more uh, gold medallion. Look at that photography. 1998 Ultra. Beautiful. So those are the uh, PSA slabs. Now let me bring in kind of some of the, the slab cans, if you will. I'm hoping to send some of these off to PSA uh, at some point. I know they're super backed up. <clears throat> 1993 Scoring Kings. I mean, this was like unattainable as a kid. Love this pose, love the uh, design. It's like Zeus-like imagery, uh, arena design. Made this card along with a lot of the other most iconic cards of the 90s. Went digging through some of my old uh, Bowman's Best cards yesterday. So these are 97 Bowman's Best. That's the uh, Duncan, McGrady, Chauncey Billups rookie year. Might send in a couple of those. This is Topps Chrome. Commemorating that, that Bulls team that won 70. Love the MJ Golds. This one's pretty off center, uh, especially top to bottom. 97 Finest, I believe this is. Big fan of the EX. Look at that. And already kind of raved about the uh, gold standard. Hoping for, uh, I don't know, eight or nine on this one. There's a serial number Jordan. Back to back. And then some Fleer Hot Prospects. I think this is like 2007 or eight. Now moving to the last uh, part of the rummage, some uh, cards I just been pulling out from cardboard boxes. So I'll just rifle through these. Um, some more of these all-star cards, 89 all-star. This card actually, Silver Jackify was talking about, this is like a dollar, $2 card, but now in a 10, it's north of 200, which is insane. Um, but it is awesome photography. I just couldn't justify paying for the 10. Gotta love the hoops. North Carolina's finest. I'm sure some of you remember the uh, Michael Jordan's playground. And then the skybox. What's great about these skybox cards are uh, the background he's playing golf. So just love some of this 90s, look at that hat, 90s card, low end. This photography is also incredible. So need to check the market on some of these. I mean, these used to be super low end, all of them. I guess a couple of them have gone up. There's a Birdman and Agent 23. Next stack. Some of these cards or card savers have kind of yellowed over time. Looks like the jaundice. All star Jordan Pippen. Nice photography on this one. I like the center stage. Nice shine on that. Got to call out the rated rookie, of course. Some of these are like promo cards. No idea what that is. I do like the uh, emotion. Thinking about sending one of these in to PSA. Really 
really nice looking cards. And then a few more in here. Flair. Jordan when he went to go play baseball. Black Diamond. Game Faces. A lot of those. A lot of those. Stadium Club. And then the last stack of the rummage. Let me take fewer. <clears throat> So these are uh, holograms, I'm trying to catch those. What's odd about these is some of them have the backs and some of them don't. If you know why, please comment below. Nice photography there, SP. European. Look how many people who used to be uh, trying to get the boards back then. A little less uh, pace and space in the 90s. So great cards. More metal. I might send in one of these too. This is the first year metal. 95, 96. Another one of the uh, Metal championship, super condition sensitive, would help for a nine on that. This card also, just the base paper has kind of gone crazy. There's that Matt Geiger. interesting card now showing I like movie design silver finest just base great photography once again I like the uh, design of the flare SPX and then wrapping up with uh, just some more low-end Jordans but you know, a lot of nostalgia here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was a fun little rummage. Really excited about the documentary. Appreciate you guys checking it out. And have a good one. Take care.